video is going to be used for information on how you can apply and schedule your CPHQ exam. To start, you are gonna to wanna to go to the website, nahq.org. At the top of the page, you will want to select the button, log in. If you do not have a NAQ account, please be sure to create an account and follow the appropriate steps within the box, new to NAQ. If you have an existing account with NAQ, please log in with your appropriate email address and password. Once you log in at the top of the page, hover over the section that says my account. From there, select my certification. This is where you will begin the application process for your CPHQ exam. To start the process, select enroll now. Read through this information on this page. The first thing it's going to ask you is to agree to the declaration, which is listed within the candidate handbook. Please be sure your billing address is current and please confirm your legal name on file. This is incredibly important as this information must match the information as seen on your legal identification. There's a section to fill out additional information about how you heard about NAQ, how did you hear about the CPHQ, and what is motivating you to get the CPHQ. Agree to the terms and conditions, which is that the exam is a non-refundable fee and that you will either have 90 days or one testing window to take the exam. For information on active testing windows, you will want to look at NACU's website to determine which window you should apply for. At the bottom, you're gonna see the button next and go ahead and select that to move to the next page. This will then redirect you to our checkout page. Within the checkout page, you are going to see the price of the examination. However, please be aware that this price may change depending on the time frame in which you are reviewing this video and whether you are a NACU member or not. You're going to want to enter in your credit card information. You're going to want to answer information about your professional status, employer type, job level, and your primary responsibility. Input your information on your credit card and agree to NACU's privacy policy and terms and conditions. Then you are going to want to select submit. Then you will be taken to the order summary page. From this page, you can select schedule exam to begin the process of scheduling your CPHQ exam. This will redirect you to our testing vendors website in which you will see the option to schedule your exam. So on the right hand side, select the button schedule to begin the process of scheduling your exam. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to select testing center. However, NAQ and the CPHQ exam offers two ways that you can take the exam at a physical testing center or online with a remote proctor. Once you select your option, select next. From here, you're gonna to wanna to put in your information at the testing centers in which you're choosing from. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to select an international location and select search. Automatically, the site pulls up available dates and testing centers that are available to schedule at. So if I was looking in Dubai, the first center is available to me is at ICT International. It's 1.75 miles away. And all of these icons in green are available dates for me to choose from. And on the right hand side, these are the times in which I have available to choose from. So again, I have other options here based on if I was living in Dubai. Um, so the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and select the 15th of June and I'm gonna select 10 a.m. In addition, the reason why you are seeing June 15th or only seeing June dates 
is because at the time of this video and being an international candidate, I am applying for the June 2022 window, which only provides me dates for the two weeks in June. So once I select my date and time for my exam, at the bottom of the page, I'm gonna to wanna to select continue. This page is gonna confirm the center at which I'm taking the exam, the scheduled date of my exam, the start time, as well as the time zone it is in, and how long I will have to take the exam. I'm gonna select continue, and it has successfully booked my exam. Now, when I hit that close button, it gives me this beautiful page of information, once again, of my confirmation of my scheduled exam, and I will receive an email confirmation with this information as well. You can see that there are two other buttons that are available to me. If I needed to reschedule my exam or cancel my scheduled exam for any reason. And those options will always remain available in my dashboard as well. So from this view, if I needed to cancel or reschedule my exam, I would select view details and I can get right back to those two options. Now, Let's say you did not um, go to the order summary page to select schedule my exam. You will always be able to get back to the PSI page by going to your My Certification section of your account. From there, you will see that schedule exam is available for you at here as well. So you will always be able to go back to your exam from here and schedule your exam. And you will also use the same steps if you were to launch your exam online with a remote proctor. So if I select scheduled exam here, once again, it's gonna redirect me to the um, PSI page and you can see that I'm scheduled for my exam. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel my exam just to show you what it would look like. Um, it's making sure, yes, I want to cancel my exam. So I'm gonna go ahead and select yes and it's processing my request, and it has successfully canceled my exam. So almost immediately from when you apply for the CPHQ exam, you are eligible to schedule right away, uh, and we highly recommend you do so. So as you're getting ready to take your CPHQ exam, uh, best of luck on your journey, and good luck.